Hello guys, with the hope that uh, you people uh, might be having a very good day. So I, Dr. Asad uh, Mbek, with the same topic that is a technique of uh, teaching and uh, this is uh, video number second. So in this uh, uh, video lecture session of Hope English Language Center Sutlet on Quetta, we will be looking on the other points or techniques of teaching that uh, how can you improve uh, this area of your life or we can say or your academic journey so over here uh, the next point is that uh, and uh, let me remind you one thing that uh, those viewers uh, who have not seen the first video shall move towards that video is uh, that is my initial video and after that uh, they shall watch this video of course then they'll be getting crystal clear concept regarding techniques of teaching and uh, let, uh, let me just uh, summarize that or in a nutshell we can say that in the previous video I told you that there are five P's uh, that is uh, for example planning, uh, preparation and presentation and so on and after that uh, there was another topic uh, that is specifying and uh, then generalizing and finally there was echo of your sound and uh, then uh, comes for example uh, your uh, appreciation or how to encourage your student about it. So after that, uh, there were certain other, uh, we can say, uh, topics or uh, we can say certain other techniques. So first you shall watch that video. After that, you shall uh, move towards this video. So let's start. Okay, uh, next point is uh, regarding techniques of teaching. Uh, while teaching, uh, work in the class. This is quite an important point. Those teachers uh, who are enthusiastic, who are energetic, and who want, uh, who want uh, for example, those teachers uh, who, who are uh, teaching uh, from their hearts, in a sense, they are quite energetic and they work in the class uh, more oftenly. If you are uh, sitting on a chair or in other words, uh, if you are just standing very still like a robot, got it, or like a log of wood, so then uh, th this will be reflecting uh, lack of energy. Uh, of course, uh, you are having audience. And you are having viewers, you are having students, and those students are uh, around the clock, or we can say at that very moment, they are uh, having their eyes on you. So if you are moving here and there, it will be uh, more, we can say, energetic uh, condition. So this is one of the most important point, points that you should walk uh, more often in the class. Of course, not uh, that often uh, that uh, their uh, eyeballs uh, shall get tired, got it? Not that much. So moreover, if you are, uh, for example, uh, working in the class, uh, the another uh, uh, pro of uh, this uh, technique is that if you are uh, encouraging any student, you can just uh, walk uh, closer to him. Got it? That uh, in order to get uh, your attention, the students uh, are uh, looking at you. And if you are moving closer to him, this will be, we can say, one of the rewarding, uh, we can say, action, actions or act. Got it? So over here, uh, while teaching, you shall walk. It is showing your energetic, uh, we can say, uh, condition that you are quite energetic in teaching uh, that specific topic towards uh, your students. Got it? So this is uh, another point while teaching, uh, walk in the class. Next is the uh, teacher himself. I, shall, uh, I must have uh, uh, taught you this uh, point in the very beginning. Uh, but uh, let me just uh, tell you uh, tell you now that a uh, teacher himself uh, must be looking uh, for example what are those qualities which uh, shall be uh, for example uh, presented in uh, that uh, specific teacher who is teaching of course so teacher by himself uh, uh, must be bold confident active and well dressed bold confident active and uh, well dressing these are the qualities of a good teacher acceptable teacher Attractive teacher. Got it? So if you want to be acceptable to your students, you must be quite bold, never hesitate. Got it? Then uh, you must be confident enough on your topic. Or in other words, you must be having quite, uh, we can say, a strong grip on your topic. For that, of course, you will have to apply those P's, as I told you. Got it? So you must be confident enough in the terms of your topic, in the terms of your speaking, in the terms of your vocabulary, listening and so on whatsoever are the skills of English language. Got it? So you must be confident enough and of course uh, you must be active. You must be active 
and uh, for active uh, uh, ness uh, body language uh, is uh, playing uh, quite a prime role body language so if you are uh, uh, showing your activity or if you are active teacher or enthusiastic teacher you must uh, be possessing uh, your uh, well we can say or we can say professional body language your words and your acts shall go side by side got it so over here for being active you shall maintain your body language body language body po uh, posture you shall just stand erect you should be uh, quite we can say active you should not for example stand like this or on, on one leg in a sense got it or uh, in fatigue condition condition stressed condition got it so over here you should be quite active and uh, you shall maintain your body language your body posture by posture i means your we can say upright position so this is again one of the most important factors or one of the mo most Im important techniques for uh, if you want to prove yourself a good teacher got it so being bold being confident and being active and of course finally comes being well dressed you must be very well dressed so as i told you that you are possessing students and they are having two eyes and for example if you are having 30 students there there comes 60 eyes got it if 40 then 80 eyes so if 80 eyes are looking on you if they are staring on you or in other words if, if, if their their vision visions are on you so in that condition you must be for example maintaining each and every we can say uh, part of your body uh, quite well dressed in, in in other words you must be uh, we can say dressed in a condition that is uh, pleasing to sight pleasing to sight means that pleasing to vision that the student shall say that oh uh, for example xyz teacher is quite well dressed or he is quite professional in a sense got it so over here the teacher himself shall be bold confident active and Interest. got it these are the other uh, points uh, or techniques of teaching okay uh, let's come towards uh, again towards students so of course uh, you are dealing students and these were uh, uh, of for example uh, th these points were for uh, teacher himself now let's come towards student for mistakes as you know that uh, known is complete each and every human being is committing errors mistakes Got it? They are having their, uh, for example, th there are flaws or errors and uh, no one is complete. So if there is any student and he or she is committing error, don't degrade or distract him. Don't discourage him. So for that, repeat the sentence stressing on the mistake or error. If there is, for instance, any st uh, you have given, uh, for example, the any term or vocabulary to students and uh, they are making for example sentences if there is any flaw any error in that specific statement so uh, despite discouraging uh, for example uh, uh, that got it so you'll have to uh, for example if there is any error in a sense so in that error you, you shall what shall you do repeat the sentence stressing on the mistake or error point don't tell the student that you are wrong in front of his or her uh, classmates it, these are of course discouraging uh, we can say terms or points got it so repeat the sentence stressing on the mistake okay then uh, uh, and uh, during the repetition of uh, that sentence or statement don't uh, uh, give tough looks to your student so polite polite smiling look to student uh, are uh, for example uh, we can say among the techniques of teaching so if you are correcting any student or if you are correcting the errors of that students for example that specific student give uh, that student polite and smiling look and tell him or her that uh, that's not a problem uh, I myself am, am, for example, committing error. So that isn't that huge, for example, uh, uh, we can say issue. So after that, uh, you are building his or her confidence. 
and in uh, his or her later life for example they will be committing errors and they won't hesitate and by committing errors they can just learn more and more got it so for mistakes repeat the sentence stressing on the error point and uh, give uh, that uh, pupil or uh, that student uh, polite smiling look got it so these are among the techniques of teaching okay then comes uh, student uh, development or presentation skills development so uh, this is uh, quite an important technique uh, just uh, be uh, quite attentive the point is that uh, if uh, for example you want to be a teacher so your students uh, are also uh, in this uh, for example desire that they shall be good teachers so if you are uh, made uh, a good teacher with the help of your previous teachers you shall make uh, your for example students good teachers so in order to make your students good teachers in their later lives you'll have to improve their presentation skills by presentation skills i mean that how can they present a good topic how can they present a uh, better for example uh, we can say any discussion topic or any discussion uh, we can say term in a sense got it how can they discuss quite confidently how can they present ideas how can they present certain topics in front of their classmates so for that you will have to work on students what shall you do uh, the point is that whenever there is any condition of class discussion or in a sense class topic uh, presentations or any other presentations so try to just uh, give 10 10 minutes or 5 5 minutes to each and every student and uh, you just sit down and uh, take uh, a piece of page write the name of student and uh, underline that after that write the errors of that student uh, which uh, occurred for example during the presentation of that specific student and uh, in such a manner what uh, so ever is the strength try to just manage that for example if they are 30 or 25 and so on so after that you should just write the names of each and every one of uh, those students or in other words if you are just providing those students presentation skills or on different days then write the name names of those students so after that when uh, the student a student is coming in front of the uh, for example stage or the class or whiteboard so after that write the name of that student and write their relevant errors mistakes which uh, they have committed during their presentations got it so write the mistakes of students got it okay after that when they are done when your students are done so uh, now it's it's for example your turn of course so after that just uh, stand up in, in in front of the whiteboard and uh, discuss uh, them generally by them i i mean mistakes of the students got it just discuss the students errors or mistakes generally don't uh, pinpoint anyone that for example atif that this is your uh, for example mistake and what this is your mistake just don't uh, name that specific student so discuss them generally that uh, these are the errors of students when you are discussing these errors generally so after that the student will get that by themselves they'll know that oh this was my mistake oh this was my mistake and they they will not uh, they will be, uh, for example they they will not be embarrassed they won't hesitate in later uh, in their later lives during uh, such an uh, activity got it so discuss those errors uh, generally after that what uh, should you do provide written errors of individual students uh, to the relevant person so as i told you initially write the mistakes of each and every students then in a, in smaller pieces of uh, for example that uh, fragments of paper so you can just provide uh, those errors to individual students and then the student uh, each and every student will just look towards uh, their errors oh i have committed for example this mistake i have committed this mistake uh, by doing this you you are shielding their respect you are protecting their respect got it so uh, this is of course quite uh, in a sense uh, rewarding condition for them this is quite uh, we can say encouraging condition 
and then they will title you that for example xyz is my best teacher so then this will be one of your achievements or as i told you in the final p that is the production so you have produced good students got it so this was all about uh, techniques of teaching so about the techniques uh, of uh, teaching uh, as i told you there was initial video then there is next video as i told you this was the second video got it so this was all about techniques of teaching so till this place uh, i have done my job uh, of uh, presenting this uh, specific topic so in my later videos uh, i'll be presenting certain other topics on uh, presentation skills uh, psychology of different uh, students and psychology of uh, teachers got it what sort of teachers do we have what sort of uh, students do we have so keep watching uh, these videos and uh, inshallah i'll be with you in uh, next uh, uh, video so thank you so much for your attention so thank you so much laugh is